So is autism a genetic disorder? Now this is something that has been researched and there are definitely genetic conditions that are associated with autism, something like Fragile X. And that is a testing that is done in children often diagnosed with autism. It is rare, but there's an abnormality in the X chromosome being transmitted that is an issue in some children. However, this is a very small percentage of uh, children who get diagnosed with autism who actually have a Fragile X problem. There are other medical conditions which are genetically um, known, but the understanding is that it is not one gene, but there are multiple genes, and it's probably a host of little differences, whether you call them de novo mutations or changes that take place, or uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms called SNPs, which can contribute and work together in a, as a cascade to cause a difference in the immune system, in um, the methylation cycles, in so many other areas that are important in the neurochemistry and the neurobiology of the brain. So there is underlying genetic differences and it is interesting that some of the genes that have been associated with autism are also involved with gastric function, with immune function, and a huge amount of research is coming out in this area. Something simple, not just with major genes, but um, genes that code for enzymes. This is going to get a little complex as I use words like the creation of um, folic acid has to be converted to folinic acid, and you need MTHFR, methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, which is an enzyme that converts the folic acid to folinic acid. And children with the autism spectrum often can have one or two of the alleles or pieces missing in the creation of this enzyme. And if this enzyme is not working effectively, you may have some issues in the creation of folic acid, which you need for your brain and for a neurotransmitter functioning, which is important for the creation of dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine. I'm going into major chemistry here, but that's what genetics involves. So it's not just a simple gene, but it's a cascade of genes, and it's not just the major genetics, uh, the major ge um, chromosomes that we're talking about, but the sub areas, the DNA creation of even enzymes and the genetic variations at that level that may be involved or that are involved and need to be researched and worked with in children uh, with an autism spectrum disorder.